But he's just gonna make things worse. <laughs> oh no! Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dr. AJ here, and finally, we are back with our Anime React series. So, we're starting off again with Season 1, Episode 5 of Cells at Work. So, no more long intros. Let's get back into it. Okay, let's do this. What's happening? Target is approaching. There's a meteor. So, is this the allergen? Because it says in the episode. And speaking of which, I think I just triggered my... <laughs> Allergies. I have allergic rhinitis. So, <laughs> this is a perfect episode for me. Okay, helper T cells. So, they serve as the commanders. Usually, the antigen presenting cells, the dendritic cells, or the macrophages, present the antigen or allergen to the T helper cell. Peak pollen season, February to March. Again, this year. So it has happened before. Okay, episode 5. Cedar pollen allergy. Okay, so there's the meteor. <laughs> the macrophages are just looking in. Oh no! Something in the mucous membrane. So these are the allergens. Cedar pollen. Immune system overreacts to a certain substance. Near the eyeball, so it's this is where they were exposed. Yeah. Oh no, it's there. <laughs> and why is red blood cell always at the wrong place at the wrong time? He's always lost but always ends up finding herself where <laughs> there's a problematic area okay what is the white blood cell gonna do to the allergen we'll just try to eat it probably with phagocytosis but that's not gonna do anything see <laughs> yeah they don't cause illnesses so what are you gonna do they can cause a lot of trouble, definitely. A lot of trouble. Okay, so who is this guy? Who are you? Oh, memory cell. Remembers the immune response to antigens. Yeah, the second invasion, probably the first one is the sensitization phase where it's the first exposure to an allergen, but there's no allergic reaction being mounted yet. It's just um, some B cells forming antibodies. Mostly it's IgE, if I remember. If it's a type, uh, type 1 hypersensitivity or allergy reaction. If my med school <laughs> serves me well. <laughs> it's med school notes serve me well. So I think that was the sensitization phase. But now I think they're dealing with the hypersensitivity phase where they already had stored knowledge of a previous encounter the legend that's passed down to us memory cells so yeah it has happened before the meteor of disaster arrived from outer space that's pretty exaggerated response <laughs> It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Catastrophe. <laughs> well, it will cause a lot of problems. And in severe cases, it's like, it is a catastrophe. Hopefully it's just a simple uh, hypersensitivity reaction. Oh no, they're wrecking havoc. Oh no! <laughs> Beginning of the end of the world. Okay. Helper T cell, who will you activate? Who will you signal? Okay, who's that? Oh, B cell. Oh no! <laughs> Not B cell! <laughs> but he's just gonna make things worse. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, antibody. Um, 
I think this is IgE mediated. Type 1 hypersensitivity, IgE. So, okay. Let's see. I think it's IgE. Yay, it's IgE! <laughs> I still remember. <laughs> IgE, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, that's just the beginning. The IGE. Oh, it's the divine mist that will open the doors of hell and the doors of hell meaning histamine release. Oh my god, he's using too much IGE. <laughs> There's too much. <laughs> and they're encouraging him. Okay, okay. See? There's too much IGE! <laughs> yeah. Histamine handling manual. Okay, so who is this? Oh, it's Mass Cell! Oh no, she's the one who's gonna release the histamines! <sighs> oh no! Produce histamines commensurate with the amount of IGE, but there's so much IGE! <laughs> so, oh my god. Yeah, she's gonna, just gonna follow the manual. <laughs> If there's too much IG, then she's gonna. Oh no! Cause inflammation and eliminate the allergens. Oh. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, so much uh, so much histamine. <laughs> well, she was just doing her job. The man <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and because of that histamine surge, the blood vessel will dilate to accommodate and try to bring in more anti-inflammatory cells and the spaces in between the uh, blood vessel lining will increase so the blood will seep out and cause the swelling. Oh my god, and the congestion like... Uh, <laughs> this so much histamine is trouble. Oh no, she's gonna release more! <laughs> No! <laughs> Yamero! <laughs> Just the tip of the height, Merg. Oh no! Oh no! The extravasation is happening. There, the vascular endothelial cells. Because they need the anti inflammatory or the inflama pro inflammatory cells, the white blood cells, and everything to go in. <laughs> she can't stop. She's just following the manual. Oh no. What emergency immune system? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna sneeze. Oh no, and there's congestion and everything. Yeah, yeah. there's so much swelling. <laughs> oh, this is the tears. These are the tears. Oh no, it's breaking loose. <laughs> Bloodshot or itchy eyes. <laughs> yeah. I was having some fearing because of my allergies are getting triggered. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sneezing, runny nose, stuffy nose, itchy eyes. I get that all the time, but not because of cedar pollen. I have two cats, although they're kind of considered a hypoallergenic breed. But still, there are seasons when the shedding is just too much. The dander. Okay, now they're blaming B-cell. Oh, 
Okay, are they, <laughs> now they're blaming myself. <laughs> she was just doing their job. She was just following the manual. IGE. According to Maya, she was just following it. マニュアル通りの仕事しかできないのかよ。暇最後。うん。バカ。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。うん。バカ。う